Good. All right. All right. Ready? All right. All right. All right. What's good, my laughing gas peeps? It's your boy Marweezy right here. My boy Jay Lyrics. What's happening, fam? And uh, we got our special badass. Uh, I fucked up. Special? <laughs> Are you calling him special, Johnny? Yeah. <laughs> we got our boy Bulldog Poppy, guys. That's yeah. what he's trying to say. We got our boy Bulldog What's Poppy. What's going on? What's going on? Today he didn't get drunk. It was sports time, but he didn't. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I was, I, I'm about to, though. Yeah, I know. You're about to get Dude, drunk. Dude, I'm like sweating looking at him. Like, my hands shaking. I'm like, oh, it's right there. <laughs> like a crack here? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, before we get started, I want to introduce our very special guest today. We got the owner of Cali Clips Deluxe, the one who started it all, guys. And we got Ramiro, if you can introduce yourself. Hey, what's up? Um, my name is Ramiro. I'm the owner of Cali Clips uh, Vista and um, Cali Clips Escondido. And uh, we've been open for 10 years. 10. 10 plus. 10 years. Ten plus. A whole decade. And uh, okay. I got my brother right here. That okay. All right. Go put the volume up on it. All right. We're, we're going to reset. You're too far. You're too far from the mic. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we'll adjust it right now for you and then we'll continue. We, we ain't gonna stop. We good. We going good. My bad. Okay. It's just our, our our executive director. Shout out to Brian. Brian Shreds. Okay. <laughs> yes, cool. Okay. A ver. Mike hey, check. What's up, Mike, Mike check. One, two, one, check two. One, two. <coughs> one, dos, tres. You can grab it like this so we can get it closer to you. Yeah, closer to you. Yeah. There you go. Así como se da pito, así. Así, man. Con, con esta hambre que tengo. ¿Cómo estás, Brian? Estás muy familiar. You good? All right. So, okay, cool. All right, so, hey, so we, we, we treat you guys live. So we're going to keep on um, getting going. If you can keep on uh, um, introducing yourself. Sorry for that little interruption. Okay, um, so I'm 10 years, ten, you 10 years, 10 years, and um, I have the guys that have been here with me since day since one, day one. Wow. since day one, Christian, Damn. Revenge, and um, JD Loco over there, that's <laughs> right, <laughs> yeah, um, Christian, if you want to introduce here? yourself a little bit, tell everybody, what's up, my name's Christian, aka Revenge, book now or stay ugly, <laughs> and we got JD, I'm uh, JD the Barber 760. And, and uh, your yeah, name? like Jose Dominguez, JD? actually. JD stands for uh, Jose Dominguez. There you go. Junior. Right, second, cool. second gen. I remember you guys from the beginning, the beginning from uh, Royal Liquor and stuff, right? Was yeah. that, that was the first yeah. stop? Yeah. I remember going <laughs> there. I remember always getting my haircut from Christian. I haven't cheated on him. That's you good. Know? Nice. So, uh, yeah, I still been <laughs> All guys are not the liquor. same. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's hope. <laughs> there's, there's hope, guys. <laughs> so there's I remember hope. that from the beginning. You know, that's the reason why I wanted to have you on. I've been waiting since the beginning i wanted to have you on just because you're a mogul to the community you know you're uh, um you have shaped the community you have helped a lot in the community you know by teaching these young kids i'm pretty sure they've learned a lot from you um and other people too you yeah. know so definitely is something to be proud of absolutely you know so um why why did you choose vista first as your first spot well you vista yeah i grew up here in vista i've been living here for a little bit more than 30 years and um well when i started the only barbershop that i knew that it was here was panchos <laughs> yep. i remember oh, dude, that was a classic spot man yeah yeah we went to panchos yeah yeah panchos yeah so i mean and um i said it to myself you know what we need another barbershop here yeah. close by you know so we saw the spot right there and by Roy liquor we got the opportunity to to um get the get it you know so we're gonna put a before that we're gonna do a boost mobile store there a cell phone store mm -hmm. but i told my girl you know what let me just try to do a barbershop you know so i mean uh we we opened the barbershop um during when i was at school i was finishing barber school uh-huh you know and um we did it and um started with one barber that was jd no, J Chris. No, Chris Christian. Yeah. Christian. Yeah. 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 It's been so long. So. <laughs> They're both so handsome. Yeah. 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 I get it. I get it. I don't know how you can confuse them. One looks like Drake. <laughs> <laughs> what I don't look like Drake time? today. <laughs> I got the bun today. Oh, man. Today he looks like Aquaman. 
Oh, yeah, he does that. Jason. What's his name? Jason Momoa? Yeah. yeah. Oh, hell no. <laughs> He's oh, a yeah. man of very many faces. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, it's funny because it's true. Yeah. It's been a minute. It's been... Uh, it started in 2013, so it's it's about to be uh, 11 years, and this this for me, 11 years this October. I started a month after they uh, they opened the shop, so nice. Yeah, 11 yeah. years. Me, Damn. the shop in October, and then I remember I started a month after, so November. For me, it's gonna be 11 years in November. Oh, wow. wow. That That's I crazy. That, that I can remember, yeah. And you've been years. here ever since, like, with Cali Clips? With Cali Clips. 11 years. Ele yeah. Yeah. Loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. I have an opportunity like to, to just go elsewhere and uh, nope. That tells a lot from your from, from boss, you know, to boss. be able to yeah, that's dope. be a leader and, and uh, help others. I mean, yeah. this is a perfect uh, avenue for that. Um, I want to have a question for you, Ramiro. Um, I know that you said, you're like, oh, well, I was thinking of going to boost mobile but then i ended up doing the cat clips even before that what got you what inspired you to even want to like oh i'm just going to become a barber oh. just because there was not a lot of barber shops or was it something that you always you're like no. oh i'm a good artist or well when i started like getting interest in doing barbering i remember my barber that he was always clean Fresh, you know. Okay. So I mean, that trusts me a lot, you know. Like I mean, you can make good money, you know. Got a good amount of clients, you know. And um, I mean, don't Be successful. Not, yeah, not to work a lot, you know. I mean, you don't. Yeah, you look good. That's what you're saying. You, yeah. You look fresh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Not to work a lot, you know. I mean, like doing don't constructions or all So shit. early, early on, you knew it was. You kind of wanted to be a lifestyle, right? Yeah. Fresh. Yeah, but I mean, I couldn't. I couldn't write out, out of school because I didn't finish high school. So, high school I, yeah, I, yeah, I dropped out of high school. And uh, what I did, I did it all. I mean, detailing, construction, everything. You hear that, guys? Everybody is watching, all our audience. If you don't have a high school diploma or something, don't give up. You know, chase your dreams. And like he's saying you know he didn't just get it from one day to the other you know he did construction he tried it all you know yeah. Uh, yeah it's a it's it's hard being an entrepreneur but he is very successful yeah it was a, it was a really a struggle yeah yeah i had a mom my first kid i was 22 and um i didn't <clears throat> i didn't i couldn't get into school till, till i was 28 28 because at that time, well, I had to get my GED, and I mean, to go to barber school. Mm -hmm. you know? so I mean, that took time. But um, um during that time, I mean, it, it was going really bad for me. You know, <clears throat> I lost my job, and I mean, I was, it, it was hard. It was mainly my girl working. You know, so I was trying to figure out what to do to, to help her. You know, to help my family, to provide for my family, to, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to make more money. You know, so I mean. I said it to myself, I mean, you can't spend the rest of your life, you know, working on something that you don't like, you know? I mean, just for, just for money, you have to do something that you really love to do, you know? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, cutting hair, that's, that's what I like to do, you know? Nice. That's, that's, what, the, that's, the, yeah. that's the key. Yeah. You, know, yeah. you got to wake up every morning and be like, all right, I can't wait to go to work. You know, I can't wait to go to my job. Yeah, you know, not not be like ah. Yeah, so it doesn't feel like a job, yeah. you know. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we come here. I mean, we see. I mean, my boys right here every day. I mean, we chill. We know our problems. Everything. It's like know? like it, like I don't wait. Like I always say that like. Like the places that we go to sleep, it's our second home. Like For real? this is this our is first home. home right here. This is home. <laughs> yeah. This is home. Has always been, you know. Like yeah. we he, we here at the shop more than we just are awake uh, our actual home you know we just go there to eat shit and sleep here <laughs> we do everything much. we yeah. are yeah. family it's like yeah. Yeah. i get it's tired of seeing sure, this right? motherfucker yeah same thing it's like you guys are brothers <laughs> i know and then like it's cool we, man because yeah. like every time i've been there a couple of times before already and then like it's always a cool vibe with well, music playing you know yeah like tv on right. everybody just you know just having a good time it's a little just something relaxed. yeah it's just, it's just so chill yeah so sure. yeah like i mean I, I, man, that makes sense uh, and by the way guys uh fam we're about to pour out some shots. We got a little bottle here celebrating our boy right here, Revenge's birthday. So I got a little bottle for him. 
Oh, yeah, it was my birthday one. last week. April 19th. We're still in his birthday month. The day before 420. <laughs> this episode probably won't air out, you know, in this month, but right now we're in April, so it's his birthday and stuff. <laughs> uh, so we're celebrating his birthday month. We're going to take some shots. And then we got, um, I think my boy uh, Johnny wanted to make uh, give a shout out. Yeah, man, I want to give a shout out to, let me get on the mic real quick before I can... Sure, uh, you need to get like this on to Eddie's money. Yeah. Right <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually gonna bring it out real quick. Um, Mitchell Alex right here. Ooh. Our boy, uh, I want to give a special shout out to our sponsor. He's uh, sponsored today's uh, episode. Go to the Bueno Seven Six Zero. We'll make sure to uh, tag you on. Uh, He's, uh, he sponsors today's uh, drink, not the yeah. episode, but exactly the, 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 today's the, drink. The, the michelada mix yeah we're we're uh we're super we're, I'm, I'm super excited for those who haven't tried it yet um Gordi bueno has made a lot of noise here in vista you're a vista uh you know resident so yeah i wanted to you know just give him a shout out and uh hopefully we're ex- uh excited to hopefully get him on the on the yeah, podcast most so. yeah. is that a new design or is that you know what he originally had his uh, his own face on it okay yeah because yeah. i oh, seen yeah. that right. sign i yeah. seen that sign everywhere like in every story you could think of i remember i was in coronado one day in san diego and then i seen like you know the gummies and like all that the the michelada mix i'm like oh this is that one guy you know because he said he's your yeah. homie right yeah, yeah, yeah damn he's been doing it big he's yeah good. Man, he's been doing it nice. for multiple years man so we're gonna i'm gonna uh, mix up a couple while you guys uh continue on um talking about your journey we're excited to to be here thanks for allowing us to come here to and yeah uh, yeah definitely man thank you definitely for the hospitality nice all right well johnny's gonna make up some uh some micheladas we're gonna do his best bar- and then, bartending and, and then eddie will probably uh, pour up some shots he's got a mic <laughs> attached to him too. Uh-oh. eddie he down some, some, some shots? shots i think there should be some shots with glasses, glasses around there here. like a man Oh damn! Oh shit! It's because I'm an alcoholic. Don't judge me. <laughs> what's what's insurance? <laughs> what's insurance? Am I just two shot glasses? So uh, they pour up the drinks, Armido. Um, keep telling us about like your, your your struggle to to get where you're at. You know what 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 is the one memory you have that you're like that you you you, you like realize? You know what? I know you said that you, your your wife was struggling. But in the process, I'm pretty sure it was a struggle too. Oh yeah, building the business stuff. Where was one one point where you're like almost gave up, but you're like, you know what? No, I'm not gonna quit. Well, my parents brought me here when I was around five or six years old. So, so you're an immigrant? Yeah. Nice. Where, where, where were you from originally? Uh, Sinaloa. Oh, so you, you were born there? Okay. Yeah. Shout out Sinaloa fam. <laughs> Masa, los venados. <laughs> ah, so continue. So they yeah. brought you here when you were. Yeah, and um, well, I grew up uh, between Vista and Oceanside, uh-huh. right here by Wahomey Park. Okay. There's a street called Darwin Drive. Mm-hmm. And um, um, my dad, um, they used to rent rent him a a trailer. Like mm-hmm. a real trailer, you like know. Like an RV or a, mo- like a, a motor home, mobile, mobile, a little mobile trailer, you know. Okay. And it had like a side room on the side and everything. So we were there like for ten years, and um, there was like no Mexicans around. <laughs> it was just me and my brothers. And this time? Yeah, yeah, really. I thought about home. The part where he's yeah, talking it was about. before. It was like a feel, you know, like a like a feel of the. The limones, mm. huertas, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. And um, well, I grew up there with my brothers. I have a, a brothers and two twin sisters. And we, we would never go out. I mean, it was just my dad, I mean, working and having parties there and everything, you know. But uh, they built some <laughs> houses <laughs> in front across the street. Uh-huh. And it was funny because uh, I grew up with the... Uh, Junior Sales, oh, son, okay. Tyler. Oh, nice. oh, no way, Tyler. Dude, that's dope. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I grew up with him and everything, you know. So it was kind of cool. Then uh, when I when I started going to Vista High School, that's when my dad bought a house here in Vista by Los Angeles, East okay. Los Angeles. When it was East Los Angeles before down the street, mm-hmm. down the street, you know. So at that time, when we got our or a cart, a passport cart. Uh-huh. Yeah. And um, 
that was something that my mom wanted, you know, so bad. Uh huh. Because we used to go to Mexico and cross back illegally, you know. I mean, I mean, it was it wasn't that bad before, you know. It was easier back then, huh? Yeah, it was easier, you know. But it's still, I mean, like it was suck. I mean, and um, when we got our our passport cards, mm-hmm. uh, it was in two thousand. Um, my mom was as no but uh, diagnosed with cancer. So after that, she only had a year. So she didn't enjoy that, you know, like going legally, you know, to make coming back. Yeah. So she passed away in 2002. Oh so God. it was it was it was really hard for me. It was that's that's when I, I was trying to, I was giving up, you know. That's that's the part. I was giving up. I dropped out of high school. I was doing I was doing bad. I was doing bad <laughs> hanging out with with all the Cholito's friends and just not giving a fuck about my life, you know? Yeah. And uh, my brother joined the military. That was in 2000, 2003, you know? He went to, he got deployed twice. And uh, it, it, it was a tough year, you know? So, um. Thanks. So, uh, uh, so you lost your mother, rest in peace, your mom? And then and then your brother took off in that same period. Yeah, so you felt alone. Boy, you know what? I took off first. <laughs> I took off to the streets, you know. Uh, okay, okay. I mean, uh, to live on my own, you know, to find my destiny or whatever, you know. I don't, yeah. I didn't have a plan what was gonna happen to me. I was, I was, I always thought that I was gonna go back to Mexico or do do something over there, but I know it's tough over there, you know. So. I decided to stay here and work. I had to work, you know, but I was still, I mean, like just hanging around with my friends doing, doing stupid shit, you know? Yeah. But, um, yeah, um, I met my wife and well, she's the one who pushed me to the good, you know? That's when I, I had a motivation, you know, to start a new life again. Yeah. And you're still with the wife? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we've been together almost for 19 years. Nice. 19 oh, wow. years. Behind every successful man, there's yeah. a, a strong woman, guys. Nice. No, seriously. Yeah. You know? If yeah, you don't have a always. strong woman, una vieja que no le importa, doesn't give a fuck, you can do whatever you want, and doesn't care, you know, about you. Yeah. And she doesn't care about you. She's probably, you know, doing some sketchy shit behind your back. But you, oh, you have to have somebody que... You know, que te dice... Que te jale las orejas. Que te jale las orejas. Si no, no te quiere. Yeah. And yeah, yeah can, so she supported me a lot. She supported me a lot. So, um, yeah, we, we had to do something for her too, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most yeah, time. so I mean, but after all the struggle and everything, I mean, finally I had to, uh, I had a, we had to save money, you know, to open the shop. So we did it, and um, thank God we're still here. Yeah, and way bigger for uh. I don't. Maybe Ramiro can give you some pictures, guys, of the old shop. But he has grown so much from that little shop. He's got two shops, guys. And we're we'll talking about some. You guys can only see a little glimpse of this shop, but it's like double the size of what you guys are looking at. There's another one in Escondido, and we're talking about somebody that came from immigrant parents who was an immigrant himself. So you know, you gotta be very proud for that, bro. High school and dropout our, and know, everything. Yeah, we started in a. Little small barber shop with four chairs, mm-hmm. and I, I mean, I always said, I mean, we we gotta we gotta go big. We have to go big. I mean, you you had to risk it. I mean, it's it was a hit and miss, you know. I mean, I mean, I don't think I seen another barber shop with ten chairs here in Vista, you know, before. Yeah. So, well, I decided to take the risk, and well, we're still here. Thank God. I mean. No, I consider you guys like the pioneers of this industry. Before, when you guys, when you first started your shop, it wasn't popular. It wasn't like a thing to, oh, I'm going to be a barber, you know? Yeah. And you guys are the pioneers. I, like, I think you guys are the ones that started it, you know? Yeah, then we picked it up when um, with all the barber, barber um, industry was starting to pick up. Nice. And shout out to Gordi Bueno. I'm about to try your Miche mix. Never tried it before. About to try the... The rim too, I'm a big fan of that. Let's see. Can be. 
Yeah, Nobody made one to, to Brian? Oh, you know what? At production, <laughs> I got you. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I, mean, honestly, no, it's not I usually edible. actually take my time, uh, but I was trying to be quick. It tastes good. It tastes delicious. It's it's I got you. Yeah. Production, we got production Please here. Bomb. Shout out to our boy Brian. Always, uh, always holding it down. Executive director. The yeah. gummies are bomb. Gord- hey, Gordy Fire Mano, man. Really this summer, this is a drink to go to. He's local. He's uh, here from You know what? Let me get some more of those. For summer or any occasion, guys. Yeah, yeah, man. And he just started his um, uh, mobile Five. bartending too, so now he's doing uh, venues and. Uh, oh, well, don't again, fall, we'll have him fall, here too, so he can share okay. his story. But mm-hmm. uh, cheers, man! Cheers to uh, cheers, success guys. and oh, cheers. cheers to, oh, like you said, with risk came reward. Oh, yep. Cheers, 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 guys. cheers, guys. What about you, GD? Oh, I, I don't drink beer. Oh, you don't? No. Right, well, pour up the uh, shots. There's, there's two shots right there. Just <laughs> for you. Hey, they're Yeah, they're good to go. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm not a big fan of beer, you know, but. I love me some tequila. I'll <laughs> join you. Oh, you already drank it. Oh. That's another one right there. All right. <coughs> oh, shit. Oh, God. Yeah, so then, like I was saying, you guys are the pioneers, you know? Christian, how do this? And no disrespect to you guys, but I don't think there's anybody else who does that clean tapers that he does. I've, I've gone, mm-hmm. you know, with different barbers in the past and all, but once I came to him, I haven't, I haven't gone. I, I'll go with JD sometimes because he's really good. He's really, really good, too. Also, he but, did cheat on me. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, no, hey. That's why you gave me permission. <laughs> no, well, well, I asked so you. Hey, you he he weren't here. But, hey, you he still here. cheated. No, it's not. Never mind. I don't have hope. <laughs> it's only cheating. It's only cheating. But, uh, I lost if, I didn't hope. ask you, but I asked you for permission. <laughs> yeah. So we're like, he asked it's legal. me like, it's if legal. he can cheat. Me and Christian and have cool a... <laughs> yeah. But I mean, I guess, yeah. But anyways... No, I think that, you know, you guys are all very talented in your own way. JD, sure. you know, great vibes. When I, I've gotten my haircut with you, it's just talk, you know, constantly talk. I've never gotten my haircut with you, but I see you, you know, getting down all the time. Clean as hell, too. Very good talents. You know, you guys are like moguls for the other barbers. And I see a lot of barbers come and ask, ask like Christian or you guys for advice and shit, you know. That's true. So. I was gonna ask you that, dude. Do you guys like have a lot of other barber friends like around the area? Do you guys like network and all that? Right here, yeah. Yeah, yeah we, we like do what, what's what's the, another big barber shop here in, in another Vista? big barber shop around here? Yeah. I mean, there's a few. Is, is there? They, there's a few. There's yeah. what? This well, whole what street, we have like oh. ten plus. No. Is there, is there like another one yeah. close by? This kind of like the same vibe as here. The same vibe. I was thinking, like, you know, with the decorations in the walls and, like, you know, you just go in there, have music, and just chill. Because I haven't... I, haven't I have seen not been I mean, to I, I know there is myself. some, but it just can't come to my mind right now. But, yeah, there there are some. But yeah, because um, we never go to another bar, so that's... Yeah. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't think... <laughs> yeah, I, I, have not, I have not been to another one. I've definitely seen them pop up a lot. Um, I feel like Barber, like, Barber comes hand-in-hand with, like, Hip hop too. It's almost like a competitive sport, yeah. um, and I've seen a lot like people develop their own like personas, I guess their own, you know. So sure. I think that's pretty cool. Um, and but what you guys have here, I actually excuse me, I can also attest to being here from the beginning. I used to um, do Cali clips by Royal Liquor. Um, Royal Liquor, if you know, you know. <laughs> yeah, where Royal yeah, Liquor is yeah. at. But um, I actually got uh, first haircut there. Uh, uh, with Crispy, shout out to Crispy. You remember? Yeah, of course. Wow. Yeah, I was with Crispy. Actually, that's when uh, when Christian I think was at Trendies or something like that, and yeah. uh, he had just came. Uh, uh, were you around there or something? Around? I th- you were, were you were working somewhere, but you were coming down. Uh, I think over here. But well, long story Not short, I started there. No, you, since you the started beginning. there. Yeah, since the oh, okay, beginning. Okay, I see. Oh, with I was the first barber. Yeah. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. But I had, but I, I had seen Crispy. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't. I don't know why I, I didn't uh, have you as a barber at the time. But Crispy was. was oh, cause you seen him at the barber school. Oh, that's where it was. That's why. Yeah, cause Damn, you yeah. started going to him at barber right. school. I started going uh, to him at the barber. Yeah, cause school. Crispy didn't start later up until what? Yeah, you're right. How much? How many months into?